Hey guys, I am Big Mike, and like always, I'd like to thank you for being here today. Today we have a presentation on order book strategies and order flow patterns by Farhan Ramental, and we also have Velox Pro here today. Uh, Farhan actually uses the Velox Pro book map product uh, quite a bit in his trading, and Velox Pro is the one that introduced BMT to Ferran. So what we've done today is we're going to give Velox Pro about uh, five minutes at the top of this presentation to very quickly show their product. And if there's any questions from you guys, we'll get those answered uh, quickly. And then the rest of the presentation is going to go to Ferran for the order book and order flow strategy. Some of the bullet points that he wants to cover today include accumulation and distribution by big players, uh, real and pseudo li liquidity, uh, manipulative orders, areas of low liquidity, restraining price action, capitulation, and false breakouts. As always, the webinar is being recorded. I'll post the recording on BMT and on our YouTube channel sometime later today. If you are watching the recording at a later date and you like what you see, do us a favor and give us a thumbs up on YouTube. Uh, also, as you guys have questions, you can go ahead and type them into the questions box and we'll do our best to get everybody's questions answered here today. All right, with that, I'm going to first turn things over to Tazaki at Velox Pro. And okay, are you there? All right, yes, we've got your screen. Okay. All right. Okay. So, hi, everyone. Thank you for joining uh, this afternoon uh, for the webinar. My name is uh, Eyal Aviv. I'm here with uh, my colleagues, uh, Tzachi and Sergei. Uh, we gave uh, a webinar on Bookmap back in, uh, in March on the forum. That webinar was focused on the introduction of, uh, of Bookmap, its uh, capabilities, features, possible uh, uses. Since uh, that webinar, we've launched uh, Bookmap for NinjaTrader and for CQG, and we have enhanced the platform quite a bit. Uh, we will also soon introduce uh, a new pricing model for Bookmap, where, which will substantially lower the subscription cost for our clients. Um, I suggest that you visit the website uh, next week. It should be, should be available uh, uh, at that time. Um, so after we launched the, uh, the NinjaTrader and CQG uh, versions of Bookmap, we received uh, very nice feedback from uh, many traders out there. And we thought that it would be a good idea for today's session to bring one of these uh, voices, uh, a sort of a, a report from the field, a feedback of an independent trader using Bookmap uh, as part of his trading uh, routine. So as Mike uh, mentioned uh, uh, before, today's session will be presented by Ferran uh, Ramantol. Ferran is an independent trader from Barcelona. He's been a trader for the past uh, 11 years, and his trading style and strategies rely mainly on uh, market depth information, which is exactly the type of information uh, Bookmap aims to, uh, to enhance. Ferran also won uh, the first prize uh, in a recent contest we held in association with uh, the Wilmot uh, Quantitative Finance Forum. We challenged participants of the contest to use Bookmap to analyze different market setups and construct useful trading strategies with Bookmap. And some of this information uh, will be presented today by, by Ferran. Um, just one more note for, for the record. Ferran, as I mentioned, is an independent trader. He has no relation to Velox Pro other than being one of our uh, Bookmap subscribers. So um, the focus of today's session, as, as um, Mike mentioned, uh, and, and as I mentioned as well, will be more on the practical side of things. But uh, before we hand over the lead to Ferran, uh, I thought uh, that it would be a good idea to recap the main purpose and feature of Bookmap, the, the application that uh, the product that you're currently seeing on, on your screen. It will help us just put uh, Ferran's example uh, in the proper context. So Bookmap is is a visualization and, uh, and a trading tool that provides information on current and historical market depth and order flow, and also provide the ability to take very quick trading action uh, based on this information with uh, one-click uh, trading. You, you can actually see Safi entering some, some uh, orders uh, right now. Uh, Bookmap delivers the market depth information mainly uh, through the use of a grayscale heat map 
which enables traders to grasp and analyze uh, the market depth information in a much easier and, uh, and faster way than is possible in any other market depth tool. In fact, the type of information that Puka provides is not practically available on other market depth tools. Uh, the bookmap heat map, what you are seeing uh, on the screen uh, right now, is a scale of uh, gray shades ranging from complete black to complete white and the different grayscale variations in, in between uh, those uh, two extremes. Uh, the brighter the color uh, of a specific price level, the bigger the size of pending orders waiting for execution at that price level and you can have a look in, uh, about the ratios or the, the relations between the different sizes on different, uh, on different level. Bookmap is not some sort of an indicator, it's, it's, it's a platform, it's an information system. We provide information, market information as, as it is, not aggregated, not filtered in any way. We just offer a new innovative way of looking at market depth uh, in a way that uh, is much easier to digest. Um, so uh, we'll, be, we'll be here available uh, during Ferran sessions uh, also for, for your questions during the Q&A breaks. And uh, with that, I'd like to, uh, to hand the lead to Ferran in, in Barcelona. Good afternoon, Ferran. Mike? Yeah. <coughs> Good afternoon. It's a pleasure to be here today. Thank you, everyone, for attending the webinar. Thank you, Big Mike and the people of Boomap for inviting me. Thanks a lot for the prize. I really enjoy a lot participating in the contest. Let me introduce myself. I've been an independent trader for the past 11 years. I'm a discretionary market profile trader using both order flow and order book reading. I also have a passion for quant trading and statistical arbitrage. You can ask me any question both in the middle or at the end of the webinar. You can also mail me about anything you need. All right, just uh, let me share my screen. Uh, I was saying that uh, you, can ask, you can ask me any question you wish, uh, both in the middle or maybe at the end. Uh, but you can also email me about anything you need or reach me at my Twitter account. Uh, I use Twitter openly and share my screen for one hour a day during my trading session. So you will be able to see my strategies working in real time. I do this for free because sharing knowledge with other traders has allowed me to learn a lot. All right, let's move to the next slide. Uh, Today's core presentation will be on high probability patterns that I have noticed when reading the order book. This issue will cover most of the time. We will be using some video clips I've recorded to illustrate these setups. The clips are very short, so ask me at the end if you wish me to replay any of them. I'm going to show you my best setup entries when reading the order book. I'm sure there are other strategies that also work well, but these are the ones that at least work best for me. At the end, and before answering your questions, we'll be talking about the benefits of reading the book, especially when it's being used with other available tools. Before talking about the setups I use for trading the book, let's notice how difficult order book reading is. Despite I feel comfortable trading with market profile and order flow, I always thought that I was missing out on something. I can honestly say that I try many times to read the order book, but frankly speaking, looking at those flash orders moving at the speed of light, I felt that there was no chance to benefit from it. But now that I've been able to organize all this information in a graphical representation, 
I feel that this was the missing link I've been looking for. On the right, you can see the order, blow, the order book flowing. In order to explain how difficult it is to understand what's going on in the DOM, first of all, let's test how good of traders you are. I'm going to show you a video where some girls and boys are playing basketball. Please look at the video and answer how many passes the team in white makes. My advice to get the right answer is that you concentrate only on the white team and forget about the black one. And let's go. How many passes does the team in white make? Correct answer is 38. But did you see the banana getting tackled by a gorilla? But did you see the dancing chicken? So. <clears throat> Excuse me for the joke. This was only to show you that our brain, or at least mine, has a limited capacity to process all the present and past information available in the order book. I must confess that I am unable to benefit from simply reading the DOM. In fact, not everyone has this ability Let's mention now Paul Roller, the famous Switzerland trader. In this sense, Bookmap is a tool that has allowed me to organize all the available information in a graphical way in order to make rational trading decisions. But before looking at the patterns, let's talk about another problem. All right. If I told you that I predict the market when reading the book, you would think that I am an idiot. Beware of someone that claims to do that. No one can predict the market. The market can't do anything at any time. But instead, when talking about probabilities, I really think that we can benefit from the nature of special situations in the order book where we have the odds in our favor. And what's even more important, not only in real time when things are happening, but even before these things could happen. Let's explain that looking at very simple charts that mean the past, the present, and the future. All right. Mechanical system and indicators are very useful to overcome lack of discipline. Another psychological problems. Anyway, we all know they lack. They are a mirror of what happened some time ago. In this example, the ES gives us a short entry signal using a simple moving average cross of a system. By the time we get the confirmation, most of the move was already done. Anyway, as Sal Brooks might say, we can still expect to catch the second leg down. Let, let's look now at the same example on the ES, but now looking at the tape. In this case, I would have opened shorts after the failure test of the long trap cluster, much before than the previous indicator short signal. Reading the tape with a footprint chart like this is an essential tool for me 
it lets me notice when and where institutions have jumped into the market in real time. Looking at the tape, we can see what is happening now. But right now doesn't mean before. And that's what we are trying to do when reading the book. Let's look at a very simple example on the DAX. After a small range, the DAX seems to spike with big volatility. But just after that, a huge selling order is being placed at the level of 96.21. The size of this order is five times bigger than what is being traded now. And what's more important, when the price reaches there, the order has not been removed. It's left to be filled. In this situation, I ask you, what's more likely to happen? What would you do? What are the odds? In conclusion, of course, I don't claim to predict the market, but I think that having the ability to read the order book is the key to get an early confirmation entry, much before other indicators can offer. Let's start to look at the patterns that can be found when reading the order book. The first one is a very reliable pattern. I call it the big areas of liquidity. Let's, this, let's look at these two pictures. This is the first one, and let's look at the second. This is the second, and let's move back to the previous one. Again, the second. These two pictures were taken at the same hour in the same product, but at different time. You will agree with me that the market conditions are not the same in both cases. As far as I can remember, that spot was a pivot in the price. In conclusion, you will notice that in some cases, the screen turns completely white. In those cases, there are big areas of supply where institutions have strongly entered the market. Those cases are not very often, but when I see them, I blindly jump on board. This picture is what we see in bookmap in K turning points. And this is very useful for swing traders. This product was the DAX. Let's look again at a clip of this picture in real time and see how it unfolds. Let's play the video. This pattern is more important to swing traders rather than scalpers. In this video, I open short, betting that the price wouldn't be able to cross that big area of supply. It is very important to notice the huge amount of liquidity that appears in the market just after the price has passed the level. The liquidity was there before the price reaches the level. Once the distribution is made, initiative sellers keep on pressing the price by placing new selling orders above the price. To me, how many time orders remain in the market is an essential matter. Regarding time, we can see two kinds of orders. Those that were there from the very beginning and those that, were, that are being placed and removed. Let's call them flash orders. From one side, real orders stay in the book from the beginning. They were there by the time uh, when price reached the level. In other words, institutions have not only placed those big orders at some specific levels, but from the very beginning, and also are not removing them for any reason. Notice as real orders are placed in a range. I would say that is not a single big order 
at a specific price. But a group of big orders plays among a range of prices. Looking at the clip, you'll probably tell me, Ferran, the price has passed above the area of supply many ticks. Yes, it's true. Due to momentum, quite often the price crosses over the range of liquidity. It seems that liquidity hasn't stopped the price. But let's say that the that let's say that the die is cast. Smart money has already taken their positions. Looking at how orders are placed and removed at the speed of light in Bookmap, one mistakenly believes that what we see in the book are just random orders behaving erratically. Nothing could be further from the truth. Every single order in the book is placed for some reason. As traders, our work is just to understand and interpret what's the purpose of every single order being sent to the market. Identifying fake orders is a matter of life when reading the book. Believe me that in distinguishing between fake and real orders, it's really easy with boom up with a little practice. But let's take a close look at fake orders. Nobody would place an unwanted order to the market at the risk that this order could be unfortunately filled. If you agree with this, then our work as traders is just to look for what reason that order was placed. I think that answering this question, we will not only get a clue of the next probable move, but also it will confirm or rule out our trading plan. In my opinion, I have noted that algos are placing orders for two main reasons. The first one is to push the price toward the limit orders they want to fill, in fact, their own orders. The second is to hold the price below or above some level in order to let them load all the paper they want or need to load. As soon as this task is done, they will release the price. In some other cases, they do this to perform a no supply or a no demand test reported by Wyckoff or, for instance, David Weiss. Let's see now a short clip where the algos are pushing the price. I want to see the price trying to reverse the trend, breaking down through a level and collapsing with big red dots. I think that this move makes many traders jump on board, thinking that they are losing an opportunity. Suddenly, institutions absorb all this paper, but I still won't trigger until I see the algos pushing the price up. Like right now. All right. 
Let's see now another example on the ES. In this case, we'll see how a breakout of a resistance is made and how the algos are pushing through it. This trading idea, in fact, is not mine. It's from a Twitter that was made by FT911, a profile Chicago trader. It is very important to notice when the order flow puts the odds in our favor in order to provide better chances for the breakout. In my opinion, the purpose of those flash orders is to let the above selling orders to be filled. This above area of supply will act as a magnet for the price, while the flash orders will keep on emerging until institutions have loaded all they need to load. When this task is done, then flash orders will release, will release the price and let it fall free down or move up. Okay, uh, as I mentioned before, I use Twitter openly and I share my screen for one hour a day. Let's come and now real trade from this week in the DAX. We are going to see uh, this entry. In fact, you can see a nice entry just after the start of the session. Another entry which uh, where we were stop out with just few ticks and then uh, uh, book map give us another long entry a very clear entry we are going to see now and then we strongly buy this product let's see uh, what we uh, saw at that moment in the book order the tax was an, an, an uptrend and was performing a pullback. What I was looking at that moment was uh, uh, the, the, the instrument trying to reverse the trend with a very uh, with, a, with a move uh, very fast and uh, from the other side I was looking uh, for absorption in that point and the red dots we can see right now is the absorption. But uh, I won't trigger uh, until I see the algos jumping into the market. Exactly this is the point where the algos uh, push the price up. Again we can see in this chart the algos pushing. Here there is one and that small spot is again the same algos pushing the price. Of course, uh, we thought that uh, uh, the algos were trying to fill this supply area very clear. So this was our target for this trade. Dr. Brett Steinbarger has mentioned many times that the key success factor in top performance traders is not the trading system itself, but their ability to manage the trade and their ability to manage the risk. When managing the trade, Bookmap can help us to trail our entry, giving us confidence to let the trade run. Or in the opposite case, when something that we don't like appears in the screen, immediately cover our position. We are going to see the action of the algos every time the price reaches the support.
This is what the algos did when the price reached the support. Let's see another picture a few minutes later. In that moment, the Argos are holding the price above the support. You will agree with me that those special shapes that we can see in the book are not the result of chance. And the only way to know that Algos are present in the market is using Bookmap. That task would be more difficult in the opposite case. Let's see another example on the DAX. We are going now to get a little deeper in how to be confident with our trade. Now we are short in the DAX and the position seems to run in our favor. But suddenly the price begins to hit over a support many times. I feel confident about my position because of what I can see on the left of the chart but I don't know if the level will hold or not. What I see there is an open-ended fight between bulls and bears. But as soon as buy limit orders are being removed, that enables us to see more clearly what's going to happen next. With that fact in mind, we still can see the price falling down. Let's wait. We'll appear right now. Anyway, when those buying orders are being cancelled, we could say that there is a bull capitulation. Once, let's see another video. In this case, uh, to explain that once you are in the market, Bookmap is to evaluate the trading of a particular trade. Regarding a change in the order book, you can either immediately cover your position or in the opposite situation, you can let a trade run that you were about to close. I believe that having all the book inf information available in an organized manner lets you know when to close the trade, when to keep in or realize soon that your analysis was wrong. Let's look at this example on the ES. When trading support and resistance, you never know not only if the breakout is real or not, but also where to place your stop. As in classical analysis, when broken, a support becomes resistance and resistance becomes support. In the same sense, and after the breakout is confirmed, we could place a sell limit order exactly where there was the previous liquidity order. The simpler reason is that long trap traders are willing to liquidate their position. And as soon price returns to break even, they will do it, pushing again the price up. One thing below uh, the top supply level, it's a good place to take profits. As we know, it will act as a magnet. Um, in Mind Over Markets, James Dalton talked about how important is trade location. I'm sure you will agree with me that improving your trade location you can improve your risk-reward ratio. That is what it's all about, refining the entries. In my opinion, the main goal of Boommap is that at the time you refine your entries and exits, you improve your location. And this is true for whatever system you use. In fact, I use Boommap as my entry signal for my trading plan. Despite all the book reading could be used as a standalone system, I prefer to use it as a confirmation tool of how to trigger my entry. I am a market profile trader, so I'm looking to go long 
or short a low volume node. When the price reaches my level, I don't blindly place my trade. First, I look at the order book situation in order to evaluate the probability of success of my trade. In this sense, you can also use bookmap in whatever system you have. All right, we are getting to the end of the presentation. I'm afraid uh, we don't have time to look at this video, so I will remove the voice. But I want to say that uh, putting all pieces together, in this case, in this video, uh, 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 we are going to use order book uh, reading and market profile, both combined to go long on a low volume note on the ES. This strategy is from Mr. Berniman, a CME Chicago trader. In conclusion, reading the book is not easy at all, but it's worth the effort to do. Uh, that's, that, that's all. Thank you very much for your attention and do not hesitate to contact me for any Thank you very much. Um, can you? All right. Yeah, there's your contact information. At the end of the presentation, I, I saw a couple people earlier asking about your contact information. So, what's the best way? Yes, Email sir. or Twitter? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. Can, yeah. Can you Can you hear me, Ferran? Uh, now we are going to pass to the Q and A section. Hey, Ferran, are you able to hear me? Yeah, uh, uh, Mike, can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear oh, you right. fine. Uh, Mike, if you wish to start uh, introducing the questions, it will be a pleasure to answer. Sure. So, guys, if you have any questions, go ahead and type them in now, and we'll see what we can get answered. You can ask questions of Ferran, or you can ask questions to the Velox. Uh, Vlox Pro book map, so they're all here. All right. Uh, okay, let me see what we got. Um, I saw a question I earlier. You. So please type uh, the questions. Farhan, you cannot hear me? Hey, uh, Ayal or Saki, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay. Can Ferran hear you? <laughs> Ferran, can you hear anybody? I don't know what happened. He, he was able to hear me fine earlier. Yes, hello? Yeah, Ferran, can you hear me? Yes, hello? I, maybe I need to pass control. All right. Ferran, can you hear us? Sorry. Sorry. I have pass control, Mike. Uh, hey, y'all, do you want me to share your screen? I'm sorry, if you, if you share our screen? Yeah, since uh, Ferran turned his off. I'm afraid I cannot hear. Sure. Anybody? Sorry. All right, we've got your screen. <clears throat> Maybe we'll put, uh, All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna type the question in so this Ferran can see it. Uh, let's see. Let me get this first one here. All right, I'm gonna assume he can see that. So the first question is from Andres. He says, "I'm wondering, do you initiate the trend or do you wait?" Uh, for until the algo sh to show after the white boxes. Uh, I'm not sure I understand the question, but hopefully he sees it. Mike, can you uh, uh, sh uh, 
repeat the question? Maybe All right. you can uh, try to answer? Sorry, I'm afraid I cannot hear nothing. <laughs> yeah, the question was, do you initiate the trade? Uh, I really don't understand the question, to be honest. To be honest. He says, do you initiate the, the trend, or do you wait until the algo shows after the white right now. I can hear everybody now. <laughs> okay, Farhan, can you hear me? All right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Let's try one more time. Let's try one more time. All right. Andres, is asking, Andres is asking a question. Asking a question. I'll, read exactly I'll read exactly what he's typed here. He's typed here. He says, I'm wondering, do you initiate the trend or wait until the algo to show after the white boxes form? It's really a good uh, question. In fact, in my system, I should wait for the algos jumping into the market. Many times, when I see the absorption, in other words, that uh, uh, big uh, red dots that are when the price is collapsing and uh, there is absorption from the institutions like this at this moment you can see on the on the screen but after that uh, is uh, a better confirmation entry uh, the algos appearing and jumping and pushing the price uh, again through an area of liquidity. Okay. I saw a question <laughs> earlier from Option Trader. The question was uh, to Velox Pro. He basically was asking if there was any option to buy the software outright versus leasing it monthly. Well, we uh, you know we got we got this uh, request for a lifetime license for uh, from several uh, people. Uh, there's a lot of echo. I'm, I'm, I'm having some uh, trouble yeah. to hear myself, but I'll, I'll try to answer. So there, there were several people that asked us about that. Uh, um, we still don't offer this this option, but as I mentioned in the uh, in the introduction at the beginning, we're changing the, the pricing model, and, and uh, we're going to offer the, the software basically in two in two uh, modes, and uh, uh, one of them which uh, will basically include everything except the ability to to trade off of bookmap, uh, to uh, place real-time trades off of bookmap, will uh, will be offered uh, at a substantially uh, lower price, uh, and okay. that will be available uh, probably uh, during next uh, next week. So I think that once we introduce uh, this uh, um, low monthly fee, uh, the question would be sort of, um, I mean. It, it won't be an issue in, 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 in practical terms because uh, I think the offering would be uh, much more appealing than the lifetime license. Okay. Uh, and this question is for <clears throat> for Ferran, excuse me. Uh, did you trade the ES today? And if so, what did you see around the 2.30 uh, ramp up in the order book? I'm assuming he's saying 2.30 Eastern time. Sonido reactivado. All right. Uh, Yesterday, uh, uh, unfortunately, I didn't have the opportunity to trade uh, the ES, so I'm not familiar uh, for what it happened. I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, uh, in fact, I, I, did, I was preparing the webinar, so I didn't watch the, the ES now. I'm sorry. Okay, no problem. And, uh, yes. Andre is asking if the liquidity area shows the algos uh, confirming the area, whether or not that works. I'm, I'm having a real hard time understanding what Andres is typing, so hopefully you do. Uh, yes, the, the, the big areas of liquidity is a very clear signal for swing traders. I think we can use uh, the, the, the book order both for scalping but, as I mentioned before, uh, in some K-turning points, uh, let's say pivot points, uh, in bookmap you can see a big uh, amount, a huge amount of liquidity uh, jumping into the market. This signal is really clear, so uh, you have to take uh, this signal for swing trading. 
Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Charles is asking if you prefer to use uh, Bookmap on an instrument like the DAX or the ES. So, if you want to talk about like which instruments have you successfully used Bookmap on, or have you found any instruments to not work well with Bookmap? Yes, uh, it's uh, also a very good question. In fact, uh, in DAX, the, the, the amount of liquidity is not as big in the ES. So, it is uh, maybe easy for me to, to see the action of the algos. In the DAX, uh, many times we can see clearly the action of the algos. Bookmap is also very useful to trade the yes. I use it uh, every day. But what I see is some uh, patterns uh, which I don't see in the DAX. I mean that every product has their own uh, shapes, uh, their own uh, uh, personality. So you have to trade uh, different one from the other. But uh, Bookmap can be used in both. Okay, and here's a question for uh, the Bookmap guys. Graham is asking if there's any plans to be able to use Bookmap on Thinkorswim. Good question. Uh, not at the moment. Obviously, we'll be very happy to uh, to introduce uh, Bookmap for Thinkorswim. Uh, but there's no concrete plan uh, at, the, at this time. We're constantly reviewing, you know, the different uh, platforms, different offering, and and the demand that we can, uh, right. uh, you know, that we can measure from from the market. And but Stream is a great platform, and we'll be happy to. to, to uh, but just to just so I understand, I mean, you let's say that you also happen to have Ninja Trader, okay, which which Bookmap runs on. You could just have Vlox Pro off to the side being run from your ninja trader platform and you can still execute on thinkorswim or whatever platform you choose here a chart whatever absolutely. it is okay absolutely i mean look it, again it depends on on your trading style we think there is value to trade off of bookmap because bookmap uh, uh, provides you with the ability to do ultra fast execution uh, uh, really no hassle and it's very intuitive to trade the order book using a tool like bookmap Right. That said, if, if you wish to trade off of a different platform, you, you, I mean, yes, you can do that. And use right. Bookmap for information. Okay. So you, you wouldn't have the ability to enter orders from within Bookmap, but you'd ha you could still do it on Thinkorswim if you use their dome or their, their order entry tool. Yes. Got it. Um, okay. Let's see. Fred is asking a question. He says, so it seems to me as if the key to using Bookmap profitably is learning how to read the white and gray boxes as they appear and disappear. And for this, it seems like one would need to be an expert to really learn everything. Um, I don't know if you want to answer that, Ayal or, or Farhan. I'm sorry, can, can you repeat that again? Yeah, the question was, uh, to, to use Bookmap profitably, Fred says that it seems to him that you need to really learn how to read the white and gray boxes as they appear and disappear and that you'd have to be quite an expert at that to really understand everything. What, what do you say about that? I, I, I think there are, there are, certainly Bookmap is, is, is something that you need to practice. So it's, you know, it's, it's a type of language and, and uh, visual language that you need to understand and develop a sense to it. Uh, and, and obviously this is a, this is a matter of, uh, of uh, a lot of art and, 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 and science. Uh, we, uh, I mean, Internally, we do use Bookmap for trading. Our trading style with Bookmap is very, very fast, uh, and and we, I can say that we do use it profitably. Uh, but I think Bookmap can can fit uh, other styles as well, not just uh, uh, you know, very fast uh, uh, intraday trading, but um, uh, it, it can it can be used as confirmation system uh, for um, you know, uh, trades that are uh, longer in nature. Uh, but okay. in any case, whatever you use it for, certainly you need you need to spend some time to understand uh, understand the, the signals, understand the, the patterns. But I, I don't think it's a you know, 
that much, that, that difficult to do it. But it's, as with everything, with everything you need to practice. Let me answer also this question. I uh, really think that in distinguishing between uh, a fake and a real order in Bookmap is not very difficult, out just with a little practice. Uh, you have to look just for those special shapes, which are not caused just by uh, uh, the random of the price. So, uh, when you get used uh, to, to, to look uh, at Bookmap, for a short time, you will be able to see what are real liquidity, I mean real orders, and the, the, the fake ones. Okay, understood. Uh, let's see, I see some other okay. uh, some other questions here asking about uh, using Bookmap with the Sierra chart. So it's the same thing as we said about Thinkorswim earlier. So Sierra chart, you would not be able to enter orders um, on Bookmap within or have it linked to Sierra chart you, you'd have to have your Sierra chart dome up and then you have to have your book map uh, chart up separately using something that's supported like interactive brokers or ninja trader and any of the feeds supported at ninja did I get that right yes that's that's correct okay let me see what else what are the questions we've got here um, all right, here's a question for Farhan. Rick is asking what your average profit target and stop loss is when trading the ES. Oh, honestly speaking, my uh, ratio, my success ratio, is not far away from flipping a coin. Let's say between a 60 and 70 percent, which is not uh, is not a uh, it's not really high, but uh, I think that Bookmap has helped me to, to type my stop. Uh, Bookmap has uh, helped me to evaluate when uh, 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 resistance or support is broken. So this has uh, allowed me to improve my risk reward ratio. So the answer is I'm not much better than uh, other traders. But uh, Bookmap has allowed me to refine my entry. Okay. Uh, let's see. Matt I is want, asking. I want to add to that. Go ahead. Um, I want to add to that that uh, if you use um, a Bookmap uh, for trading for scalping, um, you could do it. You know, plus minus uh, one up to two contract. And in that case, uh, the risk would be relatively uh, low. Um, so if you go long, short, long, short, most of the time, you find the right places where, where to enter and when to, uh, to quit. Um, you, I mean, it generates uh, many uh, uh, executions, uh, but from the other end, it can be very profitable in a very short time. Okay. Um, so there are different ways, as I said earlier, there are different ways to use Bookmap. Uh, you could use it very fast, and you could use it, you know, several times a day. In any case, uh, you could uh, get benefit from um, the analysis and the, the information that is given via Bookmap. All right. Uh, could you switch us to an ES chart um, so we can see what that looks like as opposed to gold? All right, here's a question from Torres. Uh, he's asking, and I'll, I'll ask uh, uh, the book map guys to answer first and then for Ron. He's asking, do you recommend any other books or any other reading material for using this type of tool? He mentions market profile, um, which I know Ferran said he trades from, but do you have any recommendations for understanding order flow in this way? Aside from book map, you mean? Yeah, I mean, like, is there any other any other resources that, uh, out, outside of Bookmap that would help you understand how Bookmap is is showing this information? I think that's his question. Well, to to be honest, I, I, I'll I'll tell you what. You know, I'm 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 also a, a trader myself, and 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 this is really a genuine answer. It's not because I'm I'm you know I have a certain interest in this. I I, I don't use almost anything other than that when uh, or I don't use anything other than that when I try to read market that uh, 
So ever since I, I, I started using this, which is probably a matter of uh, almost a year now, uh, I, I never looked back. I, I, this is the only, the only market dev tool that I'm using. Okay. And Farhan, what about you? Uh, uh, I think this question is uh, really good. Uh, in fact, I'm also trading naked, just with the action of the price. Uh, I mainly use Boommap. Uh, in the end, that Boommap helps me to anticipate the next move. When I see a support or when I see a resistance, when price reaches there, what I want to see is the price bouncing at that level. So I use mainly Boommap to anticipate to the move. But I also use uh, market balance uh, in order mm, to see what has just happened. I mean, I'm using market balance in order as a, as a confirmation tool. So first, I'm expecting the price to do something regarding what I can see in the DOM, and then I can confirm this in market balance. So for me, first would be the DOM, and uh, the time and sales would be after. Okay, understood. Uh, we have a question from Thomas. Thomas is saying, he says that he believes that in general institutions do not want to show you where they want to enter the market. So in that case, shouldn't we assume that in general big limit orders are fake orders? And I, I kind of just want to add something real quick on the end of his question, um, that one disadvantage that institutions have is the, the size that they have to trade. So sometimes it's not always possible to hide what they're doing, right? But I, I think he, he might be asking about like iceberg orders. Uh, maybe Thomas can clarify. So Farhan, do you have any comment on that? Yes, uh, I completely agree with you. I think that I'm a, a trader. My, my, my approach is a, a volume spread analysis like uh, Wyckoff or Tom Williams or David Weiss. Uh, this is my main approach. So I completely agree with, uh, with you. Uh, in many case, uh, that a huge amount of order institutions need to, to fill in every day uh, uh, cannot, cannot be hidden. And then uh, there are big areas of uh, uh, huge liquidity that you can see in Boommap that are very clear. And usually these areas are used to be pivot points or areas like that, big areas of supply or big areas of demand. Okay. Uh, let's see, we've got a question from Dirk. He says, can you talk about the future roadmap of book maps, such as any new features or configuration options, new data feeds, uh, whether or not uh, U.S. equities are going to be supported, et cetera? Aren't, are, are equities not supported right now? I'm sorry? Are equities e not supported? Equities are supported. Yeah, no, I thought so. Equities are supported. Basically, basically I, I would say that any any instrument that you get depth data on will be supported in book. Got it. The issue with the, with equities is that, that there are not many uh, data feeds available out there for consolidated data from all the, I'm talking about U.S. equities for uh, for um, you know consolidation of all the information from the different exchanges, uh, and right. that that is is the only limitation I can think of uh, regarding uh, equities. However, if you if you do have such a feed, and it, it will be shown on on bookmap, and you know the main exchanges or the main exchange. For instance, in IB, you get uh, I think the uh, the main exchange and and and. Maybe uh, the uh, last trace from, from from the other ones, so you do get um, uh, a view of, of equities, but it's it's not you know it, it, there's there's room for improvement in that, and it's, it's something that's uh, also on our uh, future uh, plans. Um, 
I'll, I'll, I'll let uh, my colleagues here also mention additional things for the future. I can say that uh, since the last, the, the version that uh, was released just after the last uh, webinar, we have improved a lot the, uh, the contrast, which is a, a, a very uh, uh, you know, central feature of, uh, of the platform, the, the contrast of the, of the grayscale heat maps. Now it is done automatically. Before it was, uh, you had to adjust it manually. Uh, now it's done automatically with some uh, degree of, uh, um, you know, of control. Uh, but it's it's big big improvement. Uh, we have plans to in, to include additional uh, indicators, um, but uh, that might be uh, uh, further down the road. Uh, something um, something that we want to emphasize or to focus in the near future is the, its ability to trade and to use it for scoping. So everything uh, that has to do with uh, uh, type of orders uh, such as uh, stop loss, we are going to implement it uh, and to enable it uh, for traders to, to be able to place and cancel um, uh, different type of orders. Uh, we are going also to um, launch um, a version for Quant. Uh, this will be mainly offline uh, in replay mode. Uh, it will enable uh, to um, load into bookmap both the orders and the market data and to get into a resolution of a nanosecond and the idea here is to uh, analyze uh, the trading activity. So if they have a session uh, for the automatic strategy and, and they want to analyze how to uh, what really happened in the order book, so we are going to provide them a bookmap uh, for that uh, matter. Okay, and do I remember? The version for school. Sorry. Okay, do I remember correctly Sorry? that uh, book map replay mode, like offline mode or replay, is totally free? Is that right, or did I get that wrong? Yeah, yeah, that, that's correct. That's correct. The version that we plan for uh, for Quant, it will be a much more detailed version. Sure, sure. Uh, with special uh, features. Right, but like what you're showing on the screen right now, someone can download replay data and uh, launch or download bookmap replay for free. Right, yes. Uh, okay. This is, this is a, a live session that was recorded. This is now a replay mode. Uh, once uh, those are files that are located here on my desktop, on my right. computer. Right. And uh, I'm just playing them. Uh, you could take the file and uh, from also from our forum, from our site, on, and from you know transfer from one to another. So okay. Or you record it yourself every time you use uh, Bookmap uh, uh, Live. Okay. Maybe maybe if you have a chance, you could upload one of those to uh, to BMT uh, for one of the recent days. Okay. So let's see sure. what other questions we have. Sure. Um, Joe's wanting to know if you have any tutorials or videos to look at other features or other functions of Bookmap, anything like that on your website? Uh, yeah, there are several uh, uh, movies uh, that are placed in our website. Let me just uh, show it to you. Uh, in the forum, there are several movies. Uh, if you go to, the, uh, to our website, if you click the forum, you'll see several movies. Uh, several uh, videos. Uh, we are working now uh, to add um, additional movies which will be more uh, like um, experience from uh, real trading. Uh, this is going to be several times a week. We are going to basically to trade and to share our experience with Bookmap. Uh, we will place it uh, on our website and uh, maybe also you know on Big Mike in our uh, thread. Okay, let's see. We only have a couple questions left. Harry asks, uh, he says he has CQG right now and he wants to run uh, Bookmap. He wants to know, does it run as a plugin or is it a separate application that he would run yes. separately from CQG? It, it is a separate application which connects to CQG API. So if you have, you can have all type of CQG uh, platforms, QTrader or IC or uh, CQG Trader. Uh, also the web application, 
the web will be implemented soon. Um, so all the, the three other, uh, if you have them, you need to operate first the CQG, okay. and then you operate uh, Bookmap, and it is connected uh, automatically to uh, its API. Do you offer any type of a free trial where people can test that connectivity before they buy it? Yeah, there are 14 days free trial for all versions. Okay. Let's see. Charles says, uh, are there any, I think he's asking if there are any reoccurring patterns or obvious patterns that help us to create strategies and set up strategies. Uh, do you think that you have to search those strategies out and is it the right way to use Bookmap? I'm, I think that's a question for Ferran. Uh, I think that uh, trading it's an individual thing. I think that uh, uh, you have to create your own patterns uh, that should fit your personality. So uh, I advise you just to spend hours looking at the DOM and then you can, uh, uh, you can see what it works for you. But uh, if I had to choose one, I would like you to concentrate just in the activity of the algos. I think that uh, just looking at those special shapes, uh, you can uh, build uh, some patterns that will be used for you. In fact, uh, I mentioned before that what I like more is uh, to see the price uh, collapsing, uh, trying to reverse the trend and uh, making many traders believing that uh, the train is reversing and uh, uh, making they feel that they are losing an opportunity. Once the trap is uh, done, uh, I, I want to see the price, the, the big red dots uh, taking all this paper. And just after that, the algos uh, jumping uh, strongly into the market. So I would advise uh, just to, to, to look at the activities of the algos and then uh, making yourself a question. Why, why was this uh, algo, uh, why was this order placed? For what reason? Maybe it was placed to fill a, 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 an area of liquidity which is above or, or whatever, whatever reason. Just answering this question, I'm sure you will be able to do your own system that would fit your personality. Okay. Uh, besides answering this question and regarding the previous one, uh, if you could maybe you could pass me again the the the, the screen, we can comment uh, something that happened this afternoon in the AES. I really uh, didn't took any trade because uh, I was really busy preparing the webinar and and things like that. But anyway, uh, I, I took, a, I took a, this afternoon a, a screenshot. Okay, you can share it. There we go, all we right. got it now. Uh, all right. Uh, the ES uh, began to create value, value about this area of 1911, but uh, had some difficulties in breaking that resistance. Uh, we all were trying to get long at this low volume node, maybe uh, taking also this uh, support. So this, is, this was the area where I think institutions were taking uh, their longs. I mean, institutions buy below value and sell above value. So this area, what is the green, uh, the green, uh, the green arrow is the, the that the place where they, I think that they were willing to go long. So then, uh, this is what I, I saw, uh, this is my local time, but this is what I saw before uh, the price, this, this is a screenshot that I took a few hours ago. Let's notice how at the level of 1911, the price began to, to trying to, to break that resistance. At this specific point, I took this screenshot and I also took a screenshot about what was happening on the, 
on the book map. You can see that big order with size is much bigger than what was traded at that moment in the ES. And this this was not exactly the low volume node, just a few ticks above. But uh, just after that, the price spike, and then we can see what happened. <coughs> this is the spot, and reach the balance target, which today was about uh, 1970. So I don't know exactly if this was the spot of the previous question, but because I was not uh, trading this afternoon, right? But I just took this this uh, screenshots that I think could be useful. Okay. I appreciate that. All right. That. Thank All you. right. So um, at this point, I know that it's uh, it's almost almost midnight for you, Ferran, and I think it's almost one a.m. for the bookmap guys. So I think this is probably a good place to stop. And I just want to to ask uh, the bookmap guys, what's the best way? If anyone has any remaining questions they didn't get answered, what's the best way for them to reach you? Um, just uh, send us an email to support at veloxpro.com uh, um, uh, or info at veloxpro.com and okay. we'll uh, get back to you. Okay, perfect. And uh, if there's any questions for Ferran, uh, what was your Twitter or what was your email again, Ferran? Of course, uh, you can see my email which uh, is at the end of the presentation or also at the beginning. I know you will post this uh, webinar sometime tomorrow, so do not hesitate to contact me for anything you need. I'm pleased to answer any question or any doubt, so uh, please contact me for any reason. Okay, so thank you very much, Ferran, okay, so and thank you. I want to want to thank the Bookmap guys as well, uh, Eyal, Saki, and Sergey, for uh, answering everybody's questions today. And I will post the recording of this webinar sometime later today or tomorrow, so uh, you guys can check it out on our YouTube channel then. All right, thanks, guys. I appreciate it. I'll see you later. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike. All right. Bye. Bye. All right. Uh, uh, good afternoon. Uh, thank you, everybody, for attending the webinar. It's a pleasure being here this afternoon with uh, with uh, everybody. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Bye. Thanks for us. Thanks for us. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.